Hello viewers, thank God it is Friday. I'm always excited to have this opportunity with you guys just to share my heart and uh, hopefully you guys can take these words into the weekend and meditate on them throughout the week. Today I want to talk to you about faith in God. When we hear the word faith, um, we think of so many things because today we have um, a generation that believes that faith is just being optimistic. Faith is trusting in the universe or pulling um, some kind of power and force from the cosmic energy around us. But for those of us who are Christians, we believe that faith is simply trusting in God. And because we put our trust in God, true faith is simply hearing the voice of God. At least that's what the Bible tells us in Romans 10 verse 17. So faith comes from hearing, that is, hearing the good news about Christ. I want to say that there's no true faith outside of his word. See, the word of God, the Bible tells us, is living and active. The word of God is the mind of God. Faith comes from hearing God's voice. Faith comes from being transformed by the word of God. And we live in a time now where people hear the voice or have faith outside of God's word. So I want to read a portion of scripture to you and just really explain or simplify what I believe faith is. Hebrews 11 verse 4, it says, It was by faith that Abel brought a more acceptable offering to God than Cain did. Abel's offering gave evidence that he was a righteous man, and God showed his approval of his gifts. So one sacrifice was approved by God, and one wasn't. Why? I believe it's because one prayed a prayer of faith, and the other one prayed a prayer of self. See, the secret to understanding this better is understanding their names. Most of us know that um, in the Bible time, their names kind of define their whole character. Abel's name means breath or vapor or sun. Abel waited for the breath of God. Abel prayed by faith, faith in God. He allowed God to speak to him. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the good news about Christ. See, whenever we listen to the voice of God, we are positioned in a place of sonship. We speak from a place of grace. We put faith in a God who is bigger than us. We become the son. He becomes the father. His name means breath, vapor, or sun. It is as simple as that. When we rest in the grace of God, when we rest in the father's love, his breath leads us and guides us to bring him the more acceptable offering. Cain, on the other hand, means acquired. Oxford Dictionary says that acquired means to acquire means to buy or obtain an asset or object for oneself through one's actions or efforts. And we see their self-reliance. Isn't that the problem that most of us have? Cain thought he had it all figured out. He thought he was wiser than God. He relied on his wisdom. He relied on his ability. And he brought a sacrifice. He prayed a prayer that was not pleasing unto the Lord. True faith is simply listening and being led by the Holy Spirit. Hearing the voice of God, hearing the character of God. Remember, it also means sun, okay? Abel means breath, vapor, sun. I don't think that we can hear God or have faith outside of God's character. We have to be positioned in the righteousness of God. Somewhere in the scripture, I think in 1 John, it says, so now we cannot tell who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Anyone who does not live righteously and does not love other believers does not belong to God. You see, we cannot live a lie and expect to pray a prayer that is pleasing unto the Lord. And this is what a lot of us do. We pray prayers out of our own wisdom, then we ask God to bless it. <laughs> Meanwhile, all we have to do is to be led to pray what is pleasing to the Lord, and then it will be blessed. And I want to leave you with this last scripture because this is what has helped me and guided me to pray prayers that I believe have been pleasing unto the Lord. And it's Ephesians 5 verse 10. Carefully determine what pleases the Lord. When we do this, we will pray a righteous prayer. And the Bible tells us in James 5 that the prayer of a righteous man 
of the elect ones. Faith in God is to rest in God's grace, to hear his voice, and to pray prayers that are acceptable and pleasing unto him. May the Lord guide us throughout this week to pray prayers that are pleasing unto him, to rely on his grace, faith in God, not faith in ourselves, so that whatever we pray, the Lord will establish and bring to pass. In Jesus' name, have a great week.